we have two kinds of zombies in this movie, and one are what we call the desert undead, and the other are the super undead. This represents our original desert undead look. This is several, several years after the last film, and the world is overrun by T-virus zombies in varying stages of decrepitude. We were given the direction to go beef jerky. We went very dark in the color, pretty rotten and pretty far gone and, and horrific. The undead are here today, and I'm just watching them, and they are sweating. I can't even imagine how hot they are. I guess uh, these are the country zombies compared to the city zombies. <laughs> We're just feeling for them, but they look incredible. What they can do with makeup now is just, it's so amazing. The biggest challenge we had on the show was there's days when we had 100 zombies. There's other days where second unit had 300 zombies. And the challenge of putting together 300 zombies in 145 degree desert heat is astounding. Yeah. To put makeup on people and get their teeth fitted and putting these appliances on people, that's a two and a half to three hour process to make them look as good as our hero zombies. Every good zombie needs hideously ugly zombie teeth. Uh, they just wouldn't be zombies without, without rotten, rotten teeth. And we have something like this, which are multiple sets of horrible, hideous zombie teeth. <laughs> I really need some bridge work. <laughs> Too much sugar as a child. We have a couple characters in this film uh, that are zombies with jobs, I like to call them. And I love zombies with jobs, because then you know what they used to be when they, grew, when, when they were alive. And this represents our state trooper zombie. He's the desert patrolman. The character LJ meets up with him in a bad way in a motel room in the desert. We like this, uh, we like this idea of a zombie who you could still relate to as what he used to be. You know, I mean, if I had my way, we'd have Elvis impersonator zombies, and we'd have, I mean, the thing takes place in Vegas, why don't we have a showgirl zombie with feathers and something? We didn't go that far. The super undead are actually made from the desert undead. They've been experimented on. When we were doing the first two movies, the Resident Evil games presented, you know, one particular kind of zombie. They were the traditional, slow-moving undead, and we wanted to stay true to the games. But even now, you know, the Resident, with Resident Evil 4, the game has kind of progressed and broadened out, and we thought we should, we should change as well. So we've introduced the Super Undead. <laughs> the undead that can move fast, that is super strong, that is animal smart, cunning, a really fearsome foe. These guys are scary. They're very scary. They're very fast. <laughs> We're in the next movie now. We can't just bring in the same old zombies that you know barely move. You have to bring new elements every time, and you have to up the scales. <laughs> when an actor is trying to run away from a stun guy running full speed at you, it's kind of scary. It, is, it really is. So they used to be kind of uh, slow, but now they're really, really fast. <laughs> I sent it you to summary liquidation. Liquidation? Oh, just die. We've included the Tyrant, which is a big favorite of a lot of fans of the game. It's certainly one of my favorite creatures from the game. It's a departure for me. It just looks very real, I think, and disturbing and rather horrible. And you can see Dr. Isaacs beneath this mutation. You can't kill me. And they're so clever at it, they completely transform me within the course of an hour. This is the tyrant monster. That's what he looks like when he's all done up. This is his body. And it's a full upper torso suit. It's, uh, uh, I'd say it's probably about 40, 50 pounds of uh, foam rubber. This giant 
tentacle hand, you know. And they use brilliant prosthetics. They have different pieces which they put on, but they still keep a section of my face um, visible. The first time I tried the prosthetics properly on screen was yesterday. It was really strenuous. I suppose, like anything, it'll get easier the more you do it, you know. Can Absolutely. I get your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs>